Hey everyone, it is the second week inside the convent and um, things are going well. I had a rough time on last weekend. I think some of you may have seen I tweeted a little prayer request for myself. I was just struggling because while we have adoration available anytime, we don't have Eucharistic adoration every day. Um, I was struggling. <laughs> But just a few moments after I tweeted my prayer request, Sister Rosemary, our mother superior at the convent, as well as the postulant mistress, she called me and asked if I was okay. No, I'm not okay. So she came up and talked to me and I just explained to her that for me, like I really need Eucharistic adoration. It's a big part of my prayer life. For me talking to Jesus, in the tabernacle is good, but I liken it to like a married couple. Like I don't know a single wife that is content talking to her husband through a door. So I explained all this to Sister Rosemary, and so we're going to have it now in the postulancy, uh, night prayer, and Eucharistic adoration every night. So I'm super excited, yay! And I, I don't know, I've just always kind of felt that way. I feel like if I'm gonna go be with Jesus and he is right inside of the door, right inside of the door of the tabernacle. Like why, Oh, I just wanna open it and see him and talk to him face to face. And we get so many graces. We get so many graces from the Eucharist. Um, just being in front of it. And um, when I was at Franciscan University, I went on a retreat with the little flowers, it was my household, and one of the girls was talking about adoration and she said it's kind of like going out in the sun. Whether you want it or not, you think about it or not, good mood, bad mood, you're going to be impacted, right? Your skin might change color, um, vitamin D might start, you know, being formed in your body, <laughs> your pupils dilate, um, but you change, you're changed. The same thing when you go in front of the sun, S-O-N, you are receiving these rays of grace and love and mercy and your heart is just changed. I've been reflecting on this idea of um, the secret conversations that my spirit has with the spirit in adoration. He said, the, the eyes are a window to the soul. And so when I look at Jesus in the Eucharist, it's like there's this light, you know, that's shining down through this window. And my soul sees the light and goes, oh, what, you know, what was happening up there? Uh, <laughs> and it goes and it looks and it sees its source and it's like it runs to the window. And and it just sits there with its source, with its creator, and, and I just feel this movement within me. And sometimes I cry, or sometimes I start laughing, and I don't know why. <laughs> but I know that my spirit is communicating, you know, with its maker. Where it came from, it's seeing its source, and it gives me so much peace. And I just feel so blessed to know that I have that opportunity to experience that. So uh, that's been my big reflection for the week. Um, that and, and then just again being so overwhelmed and so grateful for all of you guys praying for me. I mean, I've been getting different, so many emails from people and messages on Facebook and Twitter. And I'm trying to respond to everybody, I promise. Um, but just the number of people praying for me and uh, supporting me in this, when I do struggle, when I have those moments, I just remember that so many people are praying for me every single day. And it just, I'm blown away, blown away by you guys and your messages and I thank you from the bottom of my heart really for um, for the love that you share with me. You, know, you are such an inspiration to me. <laughs> um, you drive me forward and um, really validate what I feel my ministry is and that's just a ministry of presence. You know, of just 
I mean, I'm living my life. <laughs> and I am so grateful that I'm able to be a witness in that. So please keep writing if you have questions about things or need prayers or I weird you out and you <laughs> don't get what what the deal is with me, ask me, talk to me about it. That's okay. I get it. I'm kind of an awkward person sometimes. And um, the way that I experience Christ is, you know, maybe different than um, what you're used to. And that's okay. That's great. You know, God meets us all in different ways and at different times. So bonus feature for today. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys my chapels, um, at least three of them that I use pretty much on a daily basis around here. Um, I'll start with the chapel in my hall in Postulancy, and then we'll go to the big chapel where you'll get to meet Big Jesus. Um, you'll understand when I show you. <laughs> and then um, our little chapel will redo our, our daily prayers with the sisters. So that's coming up. Hope you enjoy. Okay. So this is the chapel, and it's kind of dark for me, but um, this is the top on the postulancy. There's the, there's the tabernacle where Jesus lives, and the crucifix next to him. There's the cross on the door, it's really pretty. The door's always open, so unless you look, you don't really notice the cross. <laughs> um, we have the stations of the cross there, some stained glass windows. And then we'll just look around the room and you can see we've got the Holy Family. Fire alarm. <laughs> okay, okay, so this is the Big Jesus Chapel. That's what I call it. Nobody else calls it that. <laughs> That's a me thing. Um, I'll just show you around in here. See the stained glass? This is the altar. I call it Big Jesus because, as you can see, it's a huge Eucharist. And if you can see it, uh, the cross in the Eucharist actually opens up at the top right here and turns into this big flame to set the world on fire through his Eucharist. Our Lady of Providence. And then we have St. Joseph here on the right of the altar. Foster Father of Jesus. This is the small chapel where the sisters pray. The Stations of the Cross. The kneelers. The altar here. And our crucifix and tabernacle. And then you can see in the back we have our stained glass windows. I also wanted to mention that there is another postulant here. Uh, her name is Margaret, so if you can keep her in prayer as well as um, a few girls who are looking at entering, uh, potentially very soon, We're very excited for them. Keep them in prayer, and um, all of the girls who will be coming on retreat in February. Uh, if you're near the Chicago area or want to be, we're having a retreat. It's the 13th, 14th, and 15th. So it's Valentine's Day weekend. So all my single ladies, just saying. Whoop, whoop. I'm excited about life. Yay. <laughs> Bye.